been thinking about expectations and the way we deal with each other, the friendships and the things that we have. Uh, Proverbs chapter 11, verse 24, 25, I think it is in the message version says, the world of the generous gets larger and larger, but the world of the stingy gets smaller and smaller. And so the way we expect of each other really plays out in the way we love and serve and the relationships that we have. In fact, the higher my expectations are of you, the greater a gap between the reality of who you are and what I expect, that gap can create a lot of hurt, a lot of offense. And um, when I'm, you know, the higher my expectations of you, the more I'm wanting to control you, the more I'm trying to get you to do what maybe you're not even created to do. And I'm trying to get you to be somebody that God's not even created you to be. Uh, generosity of spirit is when I just let you be who God's called you to be. I just serve that. Uh, really the dream that we should have, I think for everybody, is for you to be who God has called you to be, for you to be the person, the full measure of what it would look like to have Jesus fully formed in you. I should look for that and serve that potential. But I think sometimes we just have these unrealistic expectations of each other. And no wonder we get offended and we get hurt. Um, the world of the generous is when we lower those expectations of one another and we serve with kindness and with humility. You know, when we're talking about lowering expectations, I'm not talking about expecting less in life so that we don't get disappointed with results. No, the, the expectations of others. Um, maybe what we should do is expect less of others and think of others as more important and more valuable than ourselves even. That's what Jesus taught us to do. And as we just serve others with humility and with love, and not expect too much from people, but just love them and serve them and be Christ-centered towards people, I think we will have the right expectation. It was Jules and I were with a couple recently who lead a church, beautiful pastors, and they were quite burnt out and exhausted. And as we got into it, we discovered that there were some people in their congregation that had such high expectations of them and it was creating some performance anxiety where they were trying to meet all these needs and trying to be everything to everybody and it was just exhausting and they couldn't do it and we were just able to encourage them and to make sure that they keep serving and shepherding with love but not to succumb to the pressure of it creating an extreme part of your personality in order to please people because that's what we end up doing right we, we go higher in our expectations. We try to meet the expectations of others and it's really difficult to meet those expectations. And when you don't, people get offended anyway. So can we make sure if we're uh, people who are expecting too much of others, let's be generous. Let's lower those expectations and be kind to others. And if we're people that are leading and serving others and we feel the, the pull and the drag to be more than what God's called us to be, um, don't succumb to those, be balanced. Don't go extreme in your personality. Stay Christ-centered, stay level-headed, keep serving, keep loving, keep the fruit of the Spirit here. And if people are gonna to have too high an expectation, it's a stingy spirit. That world just gets smaller and smaller. Let's be generous, generous with one another and watch the world grow to become a better place around us.